Hi, I'm Corbett Lunsford from Green Dream Group in Chicago. On behalf of the Building Performance Workshop, I'd like to demonstrate how to set up worst case depressurization for your combustion appliance zone, also known as the CAS. This video is meant as a supplement to your formal training. If you have not received formal training, I suggest that you do so. If you have, this should be a good reminder of how to run this test. In order to find out what worst case depressurization is going to do to the CAS, first we need to get our baseline. So we need the manometer and our hose to get outside. So right now we've set up our manometer to measure the baseline pressure in the CAS with reference to outside. And this hose is leading to a window that goes all the way outside. We're measuring a negative 2.9 pressure for our baseline. We will record that. So now in order to create our worst case conditions for the CAS, we need to activate all the exhaust fans in the house and also kick on the air handler to see what effect that can have. What we're trying to do with this test is to create the absolute most evil conditions for our CAS we possibly can. That's why we kick on all the exhaust fans. So normally backdrafting is a bad thing, but today we're gonna try with this test to create um, the nightmare situation for the CAS. So we've got a kitchen exhaust. I'm gonna go ahead and find out whether this is a recirculating model or whether it's kicking air outside. And to do that, I simply turn it on. And it's blowing air right on my hand. So I know that this is not going outside, has no effect on our test. So we're gonna leave this be. Now I'm at the furthest point from the CAS. I'm gonna check out whether this bathroom's exhaust fan is going to affect the CAS pressure. And I'm reading a slight depressurization in that room, which means it's going to negatively affect the CAS, which means I want that, and I leave the door open. I can also double check this with smoke. Which is being drawn into the room. So I know that I've wired my manometer correctly, and I don't need to use this anymore. And since we have a forced air system in this house, we need to activate the air handler to see what effect that is going to have on the rooms as well, because some rooms will be more pressurized, some will be more depressurized. So I'm going to come over here, turn my system to off, and fan to on, and we'll test the rooms at that point. Now revisiting this bathroom that we just kicked the exhaust fan on, the air handler is running, and let's see whether it's still depressurized. turns out that the air handler is overcoming the effects of the exhaust fan in that bathroom, which means it's now pressurized, so we want to leave the door closed after all. Um, we're going to go around and check all the rest of the rooms that have exhaust fans in them and the rooms that have uh, return and supply duct work in them and see whether they're pressurized, which is good for the CAS, which is not what we want, or whether they're depressurized, which makes it more nightmarish for the CAS. We'll leave those doors open. So now that we've activated all the exhaust fans in the house and have the air handler running to create the maximum depressurization for the CAS that we possibly can, the last piece is the dryer, which is usually right by the CAS. We need to make sure that the lint trap is clean inside it so that we have maximum airflow through the uh, ductwork. Kick it on, air fluff, no heat, for 20 minutes or so to get us through our uh, testing that's to follow. So now our CAS pressure with relationship to outside has jumped down to a negative five, and that is the worst depressurization we can make for the CAS with the exhaust fans running, the dryer running, and the air handler running. Now, in Green Dream Group's opinion, and this is a controversial subject, uh, we're not truly at worst case until both of these appliances are also combusting and taking their combustion air outside. Uh, that's going to affect the CAS depressurization as well, so we're not going to record our worst case depressurization until we're in the middle of the combustion testing, which is a video that's going to follow this. So thank you very much for watching and check out the, the others in the series.